This guy here is the lace monitor, which is Varanus Various. This is just a normal phase. So um, we just found it here on the east coast of Australia where they are extremely common in a lot of areas. And they will scavenge around picnic areas. Um, we found them over there, um, close to some powerful owls. Yeah, that um, we spotted. So what happened is basically we were just eating here with all our stuff and I saw him walking up there, so he must have came through the water and we didn't hear him. Yeah. And um, basically we just kind of made a bit of a circle around him because he probably wouldn't have liked to go back through the water. And we actually uh, locky pinned him on the head on a tree and then we got him from there on. Yeah, so what happens with these guys is they get threatened, they'll climb straight up a tree. And they'll also climb up trees to raid birds nests for eggs and to lay their eggs in termite mounds in spring. So yeah, they're called a tree goiner. So they're, yeah, they're hide up trees and if they get up a tall tree they're really hard to get down um, and so where they range is from the east coast and inland to about western New South Wales and they're egg layers of course in termite mounds and these guys have a very powerful bite that possibly has venom but only mild venom but it's just those serrated teeth that are used for ripping up food such as roadkill. So if these were to actually grab onto you, what they would do is they would pull off your skin and they would maybe They're possibly pull off your yeah their flesh. Teeth are face backwards, so they lock on and rip off. Yeah, yeah. recurve teeth. I might teeth. do a bite test with another one that's in like a um, small one, a, a, no, an easier to access area, so it's not a real hard walk out. But mm. yeah, we just found this guy. Yeah, um, a gorsa called a goanna was very well known in Australia. Mm. So as you can see, Beautiful lizard. we all have some scars, they have some scratches, as yeah. you can see. This I have a lot of mosquito bites, <laughs> lucky me. <laughs> this, this one's a male, and you can tell he's a male because females don't grow this big, they only get about half this girth body size, and about this long maximum including all their tail. This guy has got some missing tail on the back, that they don't drop their tails on purpose like a gecko or a skink, so it would have been forcefully pulled off. But they're like a bird or a predator, yeah, or another one fighting, yeah. But, um, yeah, so he'd be even long without the tail. They're the second largest Australian lizard and the largest lizard in New South Wales. You can get up to two metres long. Isn't the frontier the longest? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll take the photo and then we'll let him go. Alrighty.